Live from Cambridge, Massachusetts, it's The Cube at the MIT Chief Data Officer and Information Quality Symposium. With hosts Dave Vellante and Paul Gillen. Hi, we're back at MIT in Cambridge. This is Dave Vellante with Paul Gillen. Welcome. This is the MIT Chief Data Officer Conference, MIT IQ, stands for Information Quality, uh, hashtag MIT IQ on the event. Actually, Bert Lattimore is running a crowd chat uh, under um, CDO IQ. So you go to crowdchat.net slash CDO IQ and he's, he's summarizing the CUBE interviews and some of the other uh, a conversation on the Twitter stream. Mort Anvery is here. He's the Director of Programs and Strategy at the U.S. Army. Mort, welcome to theCUBE. Thank you very much, Dave, and hi, Paul. Yeah. So, nice Mort, tell us about your role at the U.S. Army and how it relates to data quality. Uh, as a Director of Program and Strategy responsible for cost and economic at uh, Army Financial Management, we are responsible for implementation of cost culture and cost management into financial management processes of the Army. And uh, the cost culture, uh, you might imagine uh, private industry is much easier because everybody is cost, co cost conscious. In a government, particularly during the war, that mission is driving everything and most our officers are only concerned about how much money they need, how they spend it. Insertion of cost culture was a big deal. We had to look at it from the people's perspective, uh, which that includes convincing leadership that uh, attention to cost, uh, it doesn't create a public uh, bad image for the country because initially they were concerned that parents of soldiers they would not like to discussion of cost when it comes to the uh, safety of their uh, son and daughter. Right, money is no object. Money, not, not yeah. no object. Yeah. But that they, we were able to turn that dialogue around and convince that they, they don't have to be uh, against each other. Uh, you, you can have, you can be a cost conscious. You can do more with uh, your resources. You can be more efficient with it, and uh, uh, still care about safety. You can care about the uh, uh, soldiers. So that uh, discussion, particularly, was timely because Congress has started cutting the uh, DoD budget. So our uh, dialogue kind of uh, found its own, uh, uh, I guess, foundation to m move forward. So we develop uh, convincing leaders, develop a series of training, convince leadership for many actions that, or almost all action that requires more than uh, $10 million requires cost benefit analysis. So we develop a course for cost benefit analysis, train over 2,000 uh, army analysts, which is, they call it also operation research analysts, to perform and validate cost benefit analysis and make sure that every commander, when they make a decision, there is a, 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 consider additional course of action and they consider cost and benefit of that. So that kind of um, uh, guiding uh, training, we create tools for them to do that. We, uh, uh, this uh, general um, uh, fund uh, enterprise business system is a transactional army activities. This transactional activities is just like a taking all the old system of financial management and turning them upside down and creating ERP and asking every organization, what is your data need? Identifying data, not data need, information need. In fact, when we are talking to commanders and leadership, it's what is your information need? What, are you, what you can have an effect on or be able to turn the knob up and down? What are, what's your span of control? And based on that, develop data need for that organization. Then when we define the data need for organization, we find out the data that is needed by a particular organization doesn't come from the same organization, it comes from someone else. Now, communicating that data need from organization A to organization B, that uh, telling organization B, uh, you need to provide this data, it's not for you, it's for someone else. That was a big culture shock. Because, first of all, it was uh, imposing additional constraint and resources to their uh, people. Uh, the, the level of education that requires and awareness that requires that I'm providing something that is not for me and has nothing to do with me was a big shock. And uh, that uh, we were able to pass that. And then within that uh, in ERP, we created cost module. This cost module is 
uh, kind of looking at the, I, I use the example of the upside down tree, that funding comes from the end and goes to all the branches. We call it fund center. These are the organizations that they have money. The cost centers are the ones that are using this money. It could be them or it could be others. And it's just like a truly uh, neural network of information that uh, uh, many to many relationship in many aspects. Uh, so, uh, creating cost model to define their cost centers, work period and structure, and then creating this process of what we do, we do cost planning. Cost planning after we do as during execution time. Oh, Army has some process, they call it planning, programming, budgeting, execution. That's a kind of a uh, financial system process. We write this uh, cost management, kind of a overlay this cost management over uh, planning, programming, budget, and execution, that during the planning, they do the cost planning. They do cost data planning. And when they do cost planning, we go through the whole uh, review of who needs it, why needs it, what's the format, what's the definition, what's the taxonomy, who prepares it, communicated with the organization, provided, it, feed it, and that information is available. So that's the cost benefit phase. That's where the, the, the CBA the, occurs. The, the, no, the, right? the, the CBA is in, any, in support of any decision. This is a, this is a data part of uh, activities. This is a data need that we are putting in a general uh, GFEB, actually. Independent of the cost benefit Yeah, analysis. independent. Cost okay. benefit analysis for any decision. For any that initiative. You, for any issue. That was any, you said any initiative over $10 million. Over $10 million. Under $10 million. No, uh, under no, 10 million, no, under, under, no, under 10 million, under 10 million at the headquarters, we don't need CBA. Yeah, okay. The cost culture has made it as such that the commanders at the smaller group, they, they want to do that because they are practicing to be able to sell their $10 million, so they are doing it for themselves. But it doesn't get review at the headquarters. Now, did this involve standardizing data fields and, and data, uh, data categories, not only for your own records, but also for those of your suppliers? Oh, no. The, 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 the su su suppliers... Uh, mm, uh, uh, our army, particularly army and DOD, their main user or main customer of uh, data is in support of decision that they, they make themselves. It's not to prepare data for uh, uh, suppliers. In fact, we are collecting data for suppliers to find out if our contract, if our management of our contract with them is on target or not. Like a Boeing, Mac, I mean the Lockheed Martin type of contractors, that they are uh, providing uh, major system to the army, they have uh, data uh, providing requirement. In fact, we are reviewing those to see if what data that providing is sufficient or we have to get raw data from their accounting system because initially we create a particular template, we told them that and we need that data. So as far as uh, answering your question, not that much we are focused on uh, providing data to uh, supplier unless that decision of supplier is part of our decision chain and that requirement becomes the data requirement for the uh, army to provide. Have you encountered any surprises in this process or oh, digging many, into how data is in the Many, category? many. Uh, the organizational resistance is one of them. Data organizational resistance. resistance. Yeah. Yeah, because mm -hmm. uh, they, uh, most of them they don't want it. Uh, uh, someone used the term uh, uh, digging in someone else's backyard, and uh, Account chief they, accountability makes people nervous. Nervous, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, when the, when the, uh, I, I think in, in fact, creation of chief data officer is uh, giving a license to someone to dig in the neighbor's backyard. But uh, that that that's one thing. Uh, the other thing is, particularly in the cost and the financial system, definition. No matter how. Uh, normalize and uh, define and standardize your definition is different. If you ask a contractor, what is the cost of this engine? Uh, contractor says, how much I bought this, how much I put labor and overhead and profit, that's my cost. You ask the prime contractors how it, how it is, you put all wraps, all those things and make it uh, material and add to it. When you ask Army what the cost is, with the same definition that should be manufacturing plus profit plus this. So in fact, when you look at the taxonomy of definition, it's the same definition. Provider data, if I don't know if it comes from this particular organization, I have to adjust it for if it comes from another layer. Is this one of the things that contributes to po the popular misconceptions or popular perceptions of waste in government? You know, $7,000 hammers and, and that sort of thing. Is that really a data quality issue or a data definition yeah. issue? That, that, that is to some degree, it's a accounting practice and analysis issue. 
what it is uh, when you are dealing with the m m analysis of a particular contractors, you want to see how do I allocate the m overhead. Uh, or how do I allocate the, uh, some, sometimes it gets to the definition. We in allocation process, particularly in past, we would say, okay, we have a three project with these contractors and uh, we have spread the overhead equally. So that type of uh, analysis for dealing with the contractor, even though it was useful, it could create the potential for this data being misused. And in reality, I think data is just like a living creature. It's aging, it gets disease, it gets contaminated, it can be sinful, and we have made a lot of decisions based on the data that later on we found out did not have uh, uh, rigor. Suf rigor, sufficient yeah. rigor. And I believe in industries much more, particularly when they are mixing each other's data and assuming that you know, creating this big data answer all the questions, but the industry is not responsible to answer to anyone. In a government, uh, we have so many uh, watchdogs from GAO, from the DOD IG, from uh, audit agencies, right. from Congress, from pe people. We are responsible because we are using taxpayers' money and we are responsible. So it is, our book is all, all open. Under Freedom of Information Act, you can ask everything that is in my computer, it's not classified uh, to, to see it. So this type of visibility creates a little bit critical perspective toward government because the, it, you have that visibility. If you ask the same question from uh, some of our major contractors, you will see, right. you will see that, that there, are, there are worse stories than, uh, <laughs> than what we have. Because interpretation of data sometimes causes that type of problem. Mm -hmm. So you were talking off camera a little bit about you know, your passion for right. transparency. Right. Uh, in, 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 in the financial side of okay. the equation. So where, where are we with regard to you know, that, that, well, one, that one, vision? One, one, is, one is that uh, issue of the views. How many views we would choose to look at particular project, process, organization? We can have contractors, we can have customers, we can have fund centers, source of the fund, system, uh, 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 I guess time, uh, you know, different types. I mean, you can, you can have all these things. When you look at it, in fact, you create a, a polyhydron or multi-dimensional uh, 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 data model. Yeah, the, 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 the data model. That the creation of uh, that these, these things make sense altogether. So, if I want to have a um, uh, let's say 10 dimension, I need 45 table, consistent table to give the integrity and transparency of data to me. When you map that as a data standardization, it gets so huge that no human being in a transaction form can enter such a data to be useful for that many views. So what, what, um, uh, what, what we do, we say, okay, what are the questions? This data need, we go scoop data based on need in order not to create too much standardization at the lower um, uh, the data layer, which is quite costly. Most of our data, transaction data entry in a government are low-level government uh, employee that they might not have even education of understanding that uh, quality of concept. So I went travel, they tell me, oh, your travel was for what? It was for training. Uh, um, uh, was it for uh, ERP as well? I have to identify yeah, yeah, how much yeah. it was ERP. Was it uh, helping the airline industry? Yes. I mean, like yeah. all of a sudden you said, oh my God, leave me alone. I just had a $200 uh, in travel. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, Get let, the humans let, out. Let, 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 let me enter this $200. But someone comes come, come and says, what did you do with this $200? And so the problem Slice it up into the is, little is, pieces. The of pieces because of the information that that pieces is needed. They are asking for it. The Congress is asking for it. People are asking for it. When we are talking about auditability in the government, people think it's just like a balance in the book and having a, a, a general ledger workout and everything. Is it. That's not we are talking about accountability in a government. We want to know if $200 more than Warriors spent for airline coming from Washington. Why? What happened? What was the result of it? Who gained from it? Who lost from it? <laughs> you know, when you want to do that, then you can see this, take my $200, explore it to the $100 billion, $120 billion, which is our normal budget, plus OCO, that emergency fund becomes $160 billion. So it's a $160 billion. You cannot explain it like this. So it's a, it, that, 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 is, that is maybe our challenge. So we are trying to 
find the balance on a data need and a view that we need. Mm. Identify the view, right view, identify the source, and take data for need. If the new data, new information need comes, then we go, uh, says, okay, who needs it, who has it, it's structured their cost model as such to provide that data. Other than that, it would be impossible for us to create, when, when we are talking big data, it's huge data in our financial system of army, every day, few million rec transaction record happens. And in the course of a uh, year, it just, it, even with the fastest system, it takes like a few days to get a very meaningful report from it if you, if, if you want to uh, tax everything. So uh, that, that, that's a challenge we are working on, on and uh, I think we have a lot of progress. Uh, the cost management is on its feet and it's working. Our uh, uh, GFEP is producing a series of data we can ask um, uh, pre uh, relevant question from and from it and be able to answer uh, is able to answer and uh, we are learning and growing and moving forward. Excellent. All right, more. Well, we'll leave it there. Thanks very much for coming on the cube. Thank you. It's great to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Keep it right nice there, everybody. We'll be back Thank with you. our next guest right after Thank this. You. This is the cube. We're live from MIT. Right back.